doing? Ben Fishman here, Mr. Palm Beach with the Palm Beach Palmcast. All things Palm Beach. How are we doing? It is New Year's. It is a new year. We're 2023. All right. Put that one behind us. It was tough for some people. It wasn't the worst for me. I mean, you know, we had our rough times like anything else. But, you know, like every year has its ups and downs. But we're on to the next. It's going to be a good one. I uh, got a lot of big things coming up, so that will be interesting. Um, so finally warmed up. It was cold Christmas last time we talked. It was freezing. The iguanas were falling from the trees. Uh, it's back up in the 80s now, so just one week of cold weather. You know, that's one of the nice things of living here. And, um, you know, we're just uh, finishing up our year uh, with my company I work for, City Mattress. Finished up with them strong, did over a million dollars in sales. So that was an accomplishment, especially for being out with my surgery last year. And <clears throat> we're uh, just closing up the store in Wellington. And if you're not familiar with the Wellington area, Wellington is the polo country of Florida. Wellington uh, is where everyone from, I mean, anywhere. I mean, all over the country, all over the, the world. I mean, people come from Dubai to play polo out here in Wellington. So it's a cool scene. Uh, it's, you know, one of the, uh, I think probably the top two, maybe the top place to go for polo. So, uh, but yeah, I work in a, in for City Mattress, the mattress store, and we're in a plaza where the, um, where the mall is in that area and everything, and there's a store there called Publix, and Publix is like the, excuse me, it's Fresh Market. You're probably familiar with Fresh Market. Fresh Market's big, you know, big chain grocery store. They're actually going out, and then another big chain called Publix is coming in, and they're taking the store I work in, the Fresh Market, and then the store next to that, and then Publix is going to be called this Greenwise, which is like a Florida version of Whole Foods. So we'll see how that goes. They have one in Palm Beach Gardens. I guess it didn't do too good, but I mean, demographics and location is everything. So, but yeah, that's what's kind of going on out there. Uh, Wellington, like I said, is pretty cool polo country. It's worth checking out. They have a polo grounds. There's a polo club. I mean, there's... You know, it's all stuff you can check out while you're out there. So, you know, it's, it's worth checking out. There's some beautiful homes out there, some big ranches. I mean, the barns alone are beautiful. I mean, they look like they look like houses. <laughs> so, but yeah, the, uh, the clearance center, we're closing that location. We're using it as a clearance center. I'll be there for the next three weeks. Uh, if you need anything, comment or anything, I'm out here in Wellington, Florida. We're making some really good deals. I got like $10,000 mattresses I'm selling for 80% off, so. You know, I figure that's like two grand and um, yeah it's a great opportunity right now so come see me if you need anything um, we're up in a new store in Royal Palm Beach that'll be on 441 441 is like the big drag in Royal Palm Beach and it's a brand new store uh, it's right next to TJ Maxx and Michaels it's across from rooms to go so there'll be some good shopping around there probably some good competition and um, yeah, but unfortunately, yeah, I'm a little sad to see the Wellington location closed. That was the first store I worked in, and <clears throat> they just opened a Sicilian oven. If you ever had Sicilian oven, they have one down in uh, Deerfield. It's incredible. They, they've they got really good wings. They have uh, the pizza's very good, too, and, uh, I mean, it's it's just very fresh tasting, and it's crispy. It's It's very good, so... I'd recommend it. And then there's another place on the other side of us, which I'm going to miss, called Don Chapo, and that's a Mexican restaurant, and that place is really good too. Um, but hey, well, you know, we can still go, it just won't be next door. <laughs> so, but other than that, um, yeah, still doing comedy. Comedy's going well. I've done, let's see. So I did, this year, I did four classes, I did seven shows. And by four classes, I take like a five week class and, you know, people are like, why do you keep taking the class? It's, uh, it's like better than therapy. I mean, it's, um, it's Monday nights at the improv and I just go for like three, four hours and we just, we write and we, we get up there and we do our thing. We, we do our act and we critique each other and it, it's really good. You know, we kind of get some stuff off our chest and laugh about it. And, um, you know, there's some warm ups and stuff. So it's a great thing. I would check it out if you're ever thinking about comedy or, just want to like open up and just you know want to break out of your shell get on stage one time it's a pretty cool opportunity so but yeah i did uh i did three 
So I did three big open mics, and those are the ones at the Improv. They do those once a month. One of them was a contest. I thought I had it, and uh, I didn't quite get it, but we'll get it next time. The guy had a pretty good, he had a pretty good set, so, but it was fun. I mean, I think it was one of my best sets. And then, and then shortly after that, our company, uh, City Mattress, unfortunately, they canceled their Christmas party. So I went ahead and invited everyone to my late, my last show on the 11th, and it killed because we, we didn't have a big audience to begin with, but so I had a bunch of, probably about 35 people from work there, and we had a great time. And <clears throat> it was just great because we didn't really have anything planned, and then all of a sudden, now we do. So it's, uh, everyone was laughing because they said, oh, the Jew saved Christmas. And the joke is, I'm not a Jew, I just play one in real life. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's kind of how that worked out. But other than that, you know, if, uh, if you guys have any goals, let me know. You know, I got the typical, want to save money, want to lose some weight, want to, you know, meet someone, just kind of move on in life, you know, just kind of doing the same stuff. So, you know, um, trying to also get a, uh, a regular gig in the comedy, you know, just started doing this podcast, hoping to get myself out there. Uh, I love doing the comedy. It's actually, I'd, I'd tell people it saved my life. Uh, you know, after my surgery, I started doing stand-up comedy, and that's all I really do now. I don't really, I don't party or do anything, so, um, yeah, just love doing the comedy. Got to, you know, going to keep keep at it till I get, like, a regular gig, want to get, you know, paid regularly for it, so I'm going to keep at it. I really enjoy it, and I'm glad I did it, because if I didn't do it, a lot of things I'm doing now, I would have never done, so it's pretty remarkable just to look at it myself and see that so but on that yeah you know typical things just like i said losing a little weight living a little better you know um the other thing too is last year i got my real estate license and i didn't really do anything with it and in palm beach right now the real estate is still i mean it's not what it was a year ago it's come down a little but it's still good i mean like i talked about last time i mean there's property selling for hundreds of millions of dollars and i'm not trying i mean i'd love to get into that but I'm not trying to like break in either, you know. I, I kind of want to just, I'm exploring. I'm getting get my feet wet, and uh, dive in sometime later. But in the meantime, it's nice to have. There's a lot of tax benefits. If I want to buy a house, I get some money back at closing. So it's um, it's not bad to have, even if you don't really use it. So I um, <clears throat> do plan on selling something this year. I got some goals. And I mean, it wouldn't hurt to be part of a nice deal. You know, even even a referral for uh, a realtor is a nice commission. You can even get 25% of the other realtor's commission, which is a nice chunk for not having to really do much and then just to pass it along. So we're going to work on that. And uh, yeah, I work for Logan Realty. It's downtown West Palm Beach. Uh, my broker, Reese, you know, he took me on about six months ago and I had brain surgery. I talk about it in my act all the time. I had two brain surgeries. I say it's like a boarding Irish twins. And it just, uh, I had to take a break. So just got a good review uh, from the doctor a few weeks ago. Everything's clear. I'm all good. So I'm going to jump back in the saddle, get a little going on that. And um, <clears throat> I'll be performing live at the Improv Dania on the 18th. And then I will be performing live at the West Palm Improv on the 19th of this month coming up here in January. So both shows they're open mics you know um they want you to bring people so if you can come and support me i'd appreciate it uh it's a free show with a two drink minimum <laughs> and uh it, it'll be a good time i mean i had um i had one back in december and uh put a nice set together for my company I'm gonna do some new stuff I'm gonna do some of my old stuff if you've watched my youtube videos you see i do you know every comedian does a little bit of their same stuff but we just we work on it it's a, it's an evolution so you don't just do a joke and then move on, you know, it becomes part of an act. So working on my act, putting something together for you. I'll have a new show up for you soon. So like I said, 18th in Dania, 19th in West Palm. And uh, until then, you know, I'll just be working on new stuff. I'm starting a new class with Ramon. Ramon Garcia does the, uh, does the comedy class at the Improv. So I will be working with him. It'll be my seventh class. So I'm pretty excited about it. Obviously, I like taking them. You know, it's funny, he told me one time, it's like, yeah, some people say it's a lot, it's better than therapy and it's a lot cheaper. So the first class is $250. It's well worth it. It's five weeks. They put a nice show on for you at the end. And then for an extra 20 bucks, 
it'll give you a professional cut like video so it's it's worth checking out but um yeah that's it for today just kind of getting you know the week wrapped up got the year started we got some goals ahead of us got some topics got some things i'll have some guests uh, next week for us and uh, we'll be talking about all things palm beach so like i said check out wellington there's some cool stuff going out there if you need something uh send me a little message on here i can uh, hook you up with uh, some really good deals right now as i close that store over the next three weeks and um yeah if you uh, got any suggestions or anything send me a message and uh, hit the like all right until next time palm beached <laughs>